Today in the news, AMD's pricing is out of control and Zen 4 is going to make a big splash. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. All right, so AMD. It looks like the titan of industry that we once thought was our savior is now completely gone. So back when they announced the first generation of Ryzen CPUs, they had everything right. No, these CPUs weren't the fastest in town, but it was close enough and the performance per dollar was really what we loved about it. You could snatch yourself an eight core Ryzen 7 1700 for 330 bucks and the competition didn't even offer eight core CPUs. And you know that it would last you for years. I mean, I still have one in my personal system. Then Ryzen 2000 and 3000 came in, and in both cases, we had pretty amazing price to performance. Heck, Ryzen 3000 is where AMD really took the lead, and they still offered amazing performance for the money. But then Ryzen 5000 came in, and well, sure, performance-wise, it was the best in the game, but the price to performance ratio did take a pretty big hit. Everything was bumped up to a minimum of $50, which was a lot, especially when we're talking about a six core CPU like the 5600X. Anyways, this is how their CPUs went from best price and performance to just best performance. And it looks like it won't just be for the CPUs now. You might have heard that the company is refreshing their GPU use as well. So far, the information that we have points to three new refreshed GPUs arriving in the coming months. An RX 6650 XT for the mid to high end, a 6750 XT for the high end, and a 6950 XT for the ultra enthusiast class. Well, the 6950 XT has been spotted. Specifically, it's a factory OC'd Gigabyte 6950 XT. And its price? Well, 3,241 Australian dollars, which is about 3,040 Canadian dollars or 2,500 US dollars. Yikes. Now, as you might know, in Australia, everything is out to kill you, but also everything is out to take your money. That's just a global thing. So GPUs are more expensive most of the time there, but a regular 6900 XT retails for the equivalent of 15 to $1,700 US in Australia. $2,500 is just a huge, insane difference here. I truly hope that this is just an accidental listing or a mistake from the retailer. The 6950 XT isn't going to be a huge upgrade. The main difference is going to be memory speed going from 16 gigabits per second to 18 gigabits per second. So if we see a $500 price increase simply for faster memory, it means that we're now in the dark ages of GPU pricing. Next up, but also with AMD, we got some Zen 4 news. The company held their Meet the Experts webinar not too long ago, and we got some juicy info on the memory side of things. Specifically, we got the memory enabling manager at AMD, Joseph Tao, saying, our first DDR5 platform for gaming is our Raphael platform. And one of the awesome things about Raphael is that we are really going to try to make a big splash with overclocking. And I'll just kind of leave it there, but speed, and I'll just kind of leave it there, but speeds that you maybe thought couldn't be possible may be possible with this overclocking spec. Damn, that's a pretty bold statement. Right now, on the shelves, we've seen DDR5 modules go all the way up to 6800 mega transfers per second. I believe it was the G-Scale Trident Z5 that achieved those speeds. Really impressive as is, but we've been constantly hearing about companies like G-Scale, Corsair, Team Group, etc. go above and beyond the current specs. We saw G-Scale hit 8,888 mega transfers per second, and Chinese memory and flash producer maker NetAC teased a next generation product at 10,000 mega transfers per second. Now, of course, anything above DDR5 6800 isn't available for purchase, but for AMD to say that we're gonna see speeds that we thought couldn't be possible, that's a big claim. Now I'm expecting a controller that is going to support 10,000 mega transfers per second for Zen 4. That's my lowest bar now, AMD. Don't disappoint me. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can uh, click right here to see the latest video and right here to subscribe to the channel. And I'll leave you on some, uh, s some ASMR of that uh, keyboard. Give me a second. Okay. It's not great.